In this video, we'll take a look at the molecular geometry and bond angles for ClF3. So to do this, the first thing we need is a Lewis structure. Here's the Lewis structure for ClF3. And you will notice that chlorine has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 electrons around it. But that's OK. It can have an expanded octet. So we have our Lewis structure. And we can imagine that each one of these things attached to the chlorine is going to push away from all the other things. It's going to spread out. That'll give us our molecular geometry. So let's try to visualize that. So the purple, that's the central chlorine atom. Let's add three fluorine atoms on. We had one. The second one, they spread out. Again, we had another one, and they spread out. So at this point, we have this trigonal planar molecular geometry. But we have to remember those two lone pairs. So let's add the lone pairs, because they also occupy space. So we put the lone pairs. There's one. We get this shape here. And let's add the other one. There it is. What we end up with is what's called this T-shaped molecular geometry. So you can see the T here. There it is. T-shaped molecular geometry for ClF3. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So there's two ways we can figure this out if we can't visualize it. The first is to look at the steric number. Look that up on a chart. So we have one, two, three, four, five things attached to the central chlorine. Two of those are lone pairs. Let's see what we have here. So our steric number was 5. We had two lone pairs. So we go over here, and we have what's called a T-shaped molecular geometry. It'll be approximately like this here. For the bond angles, this would be about 90. I believe the actual value for this compound is 87.5 degrees. If we wanted to know the electron geometry, we'd have to look at the atoms and the lone pairs. That would give us a trigonal bipyramidal molecular geometry. The other way to find the molecular geometry is to use the AXE notation. So A, that's the central atom, the chlorine. X, the atoms around it, 1, 2, 3. And E, those are the lone pairs. We have one, two lone pairs. So we'd have AX3E2. And if you look that up on a chart, you'd find out that this is also the T-shaped molecular geometry. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry, bond angles, and electron geometry for CF3. Thanks for watching.